Dubai, September 29, The Weeknd performs on stage during the 2018 Global Citizen Festival. Plus, Be The Generation in Central Park on September 29, 2018 in New York City, photo by Kevin Reserve slash Getty Images for Global Citizen, Getty Images for Global Citizen President Donald Trump signed an executive order to prohibit U.S. companies from doing business with Tencent, which owns WeChat and nearly 50% of Apple Games, which makes Fortnite an unreal engine. TikTok has until September 20th to sell to Microsoft or another American company or it, too, will be banned. Is this because some K-pop fans on TikTok spoofed to Trump rally in Tulsa? The Weeknd will perform in a virtual TikTok concert on August 7th. The Weeknd will be represented by a digital avatar in what TikTok is calling its first ever in-app cross-reality experience. Viewers will able to interact with the singer as he performs. Wave XR is involved so it's sure to be full of amazing art, and exude their cool vibe. They just raised a bunch of dough for their eponymous VR music venue. It's hard not to feel they are supplanting what used to be the exclusive provenance of television shows like The Tonight Shows, or Saturday Night Live. Recommended for you introducing Reels from Instagram. Instagram Facebook's Instagram is not tied to the railroad tracks waiting for a TikTok to run over them. They've launched Reels this week, and early reviews are good. But it must hurt to have your launch of bedroom dancing, talking animals, and backyard stunts pushed out of the headlines by TikTok's The Weeknd Concert announcement. If TikTok planned that, it was very well played. Epic Games announces $1.78 billion funding round. The funding round puts the Fortnite maker's valuation at $17.3 billion. The round includes a previously announced $250 million investment from Sony. Control of the company remains in the hands of its founder and CEO Tim Sweeney. Zoom stickers. My favorites is the Brady Bunch with you in the middle sure to be popular and plus fun zoom zoom is launching an expanded version of its virtual backgrounds using its image recognition software to add snap like face filters although they announced this yesterday there's no word on when it will show up on my zoom app htc co-founder peter shu announced he is building space monova a vr hardware and virtual world based on 5g only Venture Beat seems to have picked up this up the announcement of a new HMT integrated into a fully embodied virtual world, where you can buy real estate and live in a semi-realistic graphic novel, which appears to be very much like our world without any details like bathrooms, building a headset, even one based on an existing Qualcomm reference design, requires a boatload of cash. It takes years to build a software ecosystem. Longer if you do it yourself, no word on how much money Shu has raised for the venture. I feel like I've seen this movie before. But maybe this remake will have a better ending. Speaking of VR worlds. Where is Facebook's Horizon? They were vague on the launch date. If it's not late, they announced too soon. Scope are partners with Service Max for improved real-time augmented reality work instructions. Scope R will integrate Service Max's field service management platform into their work link platform. The integration aims to improve insights gained from servicing equipment out in the field by expanding the data gathered as technicians go about their daily tasks. Rock Paper Reality partners with Sidon Microsoft Mixed Reality Capture Studio to bring wine bottles to life. In the volumetrically captured experience, the Sonoma County Wineries founder steps out of the wine bottle and shares his passion for Pinot Noir. Thanks to Ape Wall the experience can be seen by simply scanning a QR code with your smartphone. Pistol Whip, created by Cloudhead Games just released on PSVR and makes for an action-packed bullet field workout. The game is a unique blend of an on-rails shooter, coupled with a synthwave aesthetic, music, and great gun feel, says Super Jump Review Josh Gad. 
shoot and punch your way through an onslaught of bad guys while racking up points to the electronic soundtrack. What we're reading The Economy of the Metaverse, interview with Epic CEO Tim Sweeney US businesses a slow twit.ai. Study says people work longer and send more emails while working from home during the pandemic. Mojo Vision's R contact lenses are coming sooner than you think. This week in Exile is written and edited with Mike Lycanseer. Let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.